So this is the double bottom coupler coming out. It attaches to both of the bottom bumpers. Now we'll lift the back motor back up so it hangs straight. Moving. So he's putting the bottom pistons into park. There you go. And then the bottom bumpers are going to come out. Coming in. So now he's going to set everything to park. And what we've been doing is just leave them a little bit behind. We'll get close, drop it there, and then you can just push it right into location. All clear? Done. All right, coming in. Done. So they just use red lock. Moving. Want me to pull that forward or? Yeah, right. That's the lock coming through. So it's easy to see that that one's not in yet. But it's one of those things that you can actually check when you're looking at your array just to make everything's closed. You want me to come down another bump? Yeah, Moving. Now you can see it. So it's just one more safety thing that you can test or look at easily. I really think this is the only two-person thing you need. I mean, it's good to do it for safety's sake, but... Sorry? Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, main beam's coming in. The other thing you notice, it's easy to tell which way is the front of the beam, and none of the rigging will fit in the wrong places. So that M link only fits there. It won't fit in any of the other holes, and the P tilts won't fit there. Right. Going up. Yep. Yeah, you got to take them out of um, storage mode. What the storage modes do is it locks it so you can actually change angles if you want to on the dolly. So if you're waiting for riggers, you can set everything ahead of time and go. Yep. Cool. There, so. Because right now, it's basically the bumpers, they're all attached, but there's no weight compressing the two. G. Okay, you're right, right. So now what they'll do next is they'll just double check these three. Good. Now the only thing that actually comes off are these big pins. Yeah. And that's it. Moving. So this is where it bends. So we're putting all the weight on the front. Back up. So you see it squeeze. And as it squeezes, it just sets the angles. The piston itself, all it is is when you open it up, it's machine, but it's not even hydraulic, it's just different settings. So as you turn it, it's just changing the distance. Oh, okay. It's oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. very yeah, yeah, simple, yeah, yeah. but genius idea. Yeah. And then it's just got the storage position on the side. Yeah. 